Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry how I ball Yo, so this is gonna be how to make this Fortnite thumbnail. Fortnite is blown up recently, it's massive, so I know there's quite a lot of demand for Fortnite thumbnails, so I just thought I'd make a little tutorial on how to make one. So first thing, um, I'm not actually in Photoshop at the moment because what you wanna do before making the thumbnail is get the assets for it, so like the images of the characters and like screenshots from the game. Now, if you play Fortnite yourself, then go ahead, I encourage you to get them yourself, get the screenshots and everything yourself. If you don't, this website is really good for it. It's called fnbr.co. I'll link it in the description if you can't be asked to type them six letters and a full stop but yeah fnbr.co is amazing for like just everything to do with fortnite and they're all pngs so I, if i just go down to cosmetics and png this is what shows up as you can see tons of png images of all the all the cosmetics obviously so you get all the characters all the weapons and all that stuff and then all you have to do uh, if you find one you like so i'm gonna use this one is go right click on the one that you want and open image and new tab and then sort of save image as and then you have the full HD image of it and it's already cut out and it's free to use so there you go amazing website and it does say here um, please credit back to fmbr.co if you use any of these images so yeah keep that in mind and then the next thing is to go to screenshots and here we go first person images in 5 5k for use in thumbnails headers etc credit back to fnbr.co is appreciated but not required so you don't even have to shout them out if you want to use any of these so yeah find one that you want to use i'm going to use this one i mean that is amazing quality free to use completely can't recommend this website anymore but yeah enough about this website let's get onto the thumbnail itself so copying this image into a document 1920 by 1080 so you can either do that or 1280 by 720 i just like to do it bigger and then scale it down afterwards because you know you can always scale down but you can't always scale up so first thing to do is place the background image that you want to use i just use that image from fnbr.co and sort of make it fit however you like and then next is to add in whatever you want in the front so what i wanted in the front is that character from that website and then some text i don't know what it's going to say yet but i'll figure that out so here we have the image of raptor I'm drag it into the document it is a bit small you'll find that with all of the assets really only thing you can do is just to make it bigger obviously it will lose some quality but as it's thumbnail size it won't matter too much it's not a huge deal so make it the size that you want i guess i'm just going to do that so yeah now onto the corrections of the actual thumbnail so I'm going to click down here on this half filled circle, this is the image corrections, and go to gradient map. Basically what a gradient map does is it makes all the black or dark areas of the picture this colour, and all the white and light areas of the picture this colour. So as you can see it's black and white now, but if I change this black to that ready pink, you'll see all the black areas turn to pink, while all the white areas are still left white here. If I change this to orange, for example, it looks horrible right now, but you can see all the white areas go orange, all the grey areas, sort of the halfway in between the, the whites and blacks, sort of go this middle colour here, and you know, so on across the scale. That's how a gradient map works, basically. I'm just going to change it to black and white, and then change the black to a sort of dark blue, like, like that, yep. And then change the white to sort of turquoise like that. So it looks kind of cool. And then I'm going to click the adjustment layer again, the um, the half field circle, and go to solid color. And this time I'm going to change it to that dark blue that I used roughly. Click OK and then just lower the opacity. So basically what that's done is it's changed the background to one single color, dark blue and light blue. So sort of a bluey, bluey color. And then I've just added a color fill on the top, lowered the opacity so it's sort of... You know, it's not as strong, it's all sort of blended in the background, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm just going to change the gradient map from this blue, because I still think it shows through a bit much. Next thing I'm going to do is add some text. I'm just going to put, um, uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm just going to put first win. Now the video title, for example, could be my first win on Fortnite, but you want to make sure that the text in the thumbnail is just as minimal as possible, because you want it to be as eye-catching as possible. At the moment, this font, I mean, it's okay, I like this font, but... For a Fortnite thumbnail, it's not really suitable. So for the font to use on the thumbnail, as far as I'm aware, this is the font that they use, Burbank. So you do have to keep in mind copyright and licensing issues with this font. But if you want to be safe, um, I found this font on... So this is a font I found if you want to be safe and, you know, don't want to use fonts you don't have the rights to use. So Luckiest Guy font, it's called. You know, it's sort of playful. It's got the same feeling to the Fortnite font. So I just thought this was a, a good alternative to it. And it's free for commercial use as well. So there's no problems with uh, how you use it. So you can see it's going to work for a thumbnail really well. It's sort of got that playful, big, bold, eye-catching, you know, 
look to it. So I've just changed the first text to a font called Kenyan Coffee. Um, I'm also going to make that regular. It's important in thumbnails if you have, you know, two different types of text to sort of vary them a bit you don't want it all one font you, you know don't be afraid to mix up the fonts a little bit so i've made win into the main font because that's the sort of the main text that you want to focus on you know you won the game or whatever so now on to the more complex you could say corrections so first thing i'm going to do before that is change this first text to a uh, yellow which is um on the character here So there you go, there's the sort of colour scheme we're going for, the dark blue, this yellow and the white, I think they work well together. So what I'm going to do next is add a new layer underneath the, the render layer and with the brush tool by clicking B, I'm going to make it about the same size as sort of how, how much room the render takes up and just click sort of there just to get a sort of glow underneath him and just click there and make it a bit smaller and behind his head just so that he's surrounded by this you know rough glow. I'm going to move it into a better position and lower the opacity. Next, I'm going to add a new layer above that again, but now with a white brush at a smaller size, I'm just going to do the same thing and sort of just drag where I want that the sort of glow to go. Like that. And then change the blending mode to overlay and make the yellow a bit stronger. So I've just put a color overlay on this yellow. Um, I don't like how it was looking, so I just made it more orange. And now I'm going to set this to 100% and with a new layer on top of it, a completely clear layer. I'm going to hold control and merge them just so it sort of resets the layer and then make this sort of a lower opacity so it goes like that move it over a little bit so now back to how it was before i'm going to add some glows on the player itself so again new layer above the player this time and i'm going to clip the layer to the top of that just by holding alt and clicking in between you should get this sort of sort of you know icon there whatever that says so that will clip so basically whatever you do to this layer only affects the area that this player takes up sort of thing so now i'm going to hold control and click this rectangle preview of the the, the render layer like this and that will just select the outline of what's on the layer itself now if i brush over just with a black brush like this it will just affect what has been selected on the layer now by changing this fill here to zero it will just get rid of the black layer completely the reason i didn't lower the opacity is because i'm going to add some layer modes on the top of this layer so for example if i double click this and go to uh, just inner glow because that's what we're going to use change it to white and this is what you should do as well because um, i'm going to add some glows on the inside now change it to overlay and just bring it up a little bit like that so because i changed the fill to zero instead of the opacity what this does is it hides what is on the layer but any layer styles that add on top become visible so as you can see if i change the fill to 100 and set the opacity to zero you can't see any glow around the edges but if i set the opacity to 100 and the fill to zero the glow is there so now what i'm going to do is go to inner shadow and this is just going to be the colored glow so i'm going to change this to screen i'm going to use this sort of yellow and set the distance to zero put the size up like that and sort of make it more intense color sort of like we did with the sort of black backlight and i'm just going to see how color dodge works as well um i actually think i prefer color dodge it's more sort of intense so i'm going to click ok and now what i'm going to do is right click where this says effects here and go to create layers which basically as the name suggests creates layers out of these layer styles so you can hide them and lower the opacity of them as if they were normal layers so now i've hid the two inner glow sort of layers and i'm just going to make the white one visible first so we can edit this to make it look good and then add the colors on top so so far this looks pretty good what i am going to do is add a layer mask to it and with a black brush sort of go over where i don't want it to be so on this side of this shovel on the bottom here of the character um sort of here it could be a bit strong other than that i think they're they're good places to have it and now on to the colored glow so i'm going to make this visible and again add a layer mask to it and with a black brush just go over where i don't want it to be seen but yeah if these two layers look too strong to you you can always play with the opacity now they're separate layers and sort of make them stronger or weaker but i kind of like how they look right now i think you know, it's you know perfect at 100 percent so on to the next step which is sort of pushing that fortnite style forward a bit more what i mean by this is adding some sort of stylistic things um i'll just go through it because i can't explain it well but yeah with the polygonal lasso tool just press l on the keyboards and then hold down on this tool which appears and just click that one polygonal lasso tool so you can just click and make obviously polygons 
which then turn into a selection. So with this, I'm just going to make a really long, thin triangle uh, like this and fill it with white. So now what you can do with this is sort of duplicate it loads of times and put them around the edges so that anyone viewing it is drawn to what's in the middle and like the main focus of the thumbnail. Uh, and then just sort of play around with it and I'll get back to you after I've done that. So there we go, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm not really happy with it, but there we go. There's a sort of few spikes going inwards so that you focus on what's inside the thumbnail. It sort of makes it more eye-catchy as well. It's just good for, to have on a thumbnail in general, but it's sort of really popular with the Fortnite style. Next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer above all these background layers here. And then what I'm going to do here is just with another polygonal lasso tool, just sort of go around really roughly sort of making you know sort of just making roughing up the edges a little bit so yeah now you have this as a selection press Control shift i to invert the selection so it just selects the outside border and with a white brush fill it in so a few things i've noticed because this white border is below these glow layers these glow layers are going to affect the border so to fix this i'm just going to change this to screen here and as you can see it sort of changes the color a bit but it doesn't affect the white anymore another alternative to changing this because this isn't as intense anymore it's a sort of more pale yellow glow is change this back to normal select by holding control and clicking the preview box of the border uh, just so you select the border itself and then holding alt and clicking the layer mask button while selected on the glow layer here to set a mask on this layer so that only everything inside the border is visible so next step I'm going to add a new layer again and I'm just going to add some glows sort of around the backing area so with a soft brush about a thousand pixels wide again I'm just going to click in the areas which I think are dark and sort of need a bit more glow so like that and I'm also going to set this below everything else um, but above the background layers and then set the blending mode to overlay I think that looks a lot better than what it was before I'm just going to lower the opacity because I think it is a bit strong and there you go there's before and after I like that now I was just playing around with all the text making sure the composition's good making sure you can read everything perfectly one thing I'm going to do is make a new layer above this first layer clip it to it and with a white brush sort of brush there set it to overlay doesn't make much of a difference but there you go it just sort of gives it a gradient and you can play around with the layer styles of this wind text although I, I kind of like to keep it flat you don't want to over complicate it so you can't read it anymore but you know you can play around with bevel and emboss um, I don't know I guess you could do that and then lower the opacity that looks kind of cool cartoony you could add a gradient overlay make it subtle, add an inner glow for example I'm just telling you what you can do but you know I like to keep it simple but there you go you could do something like that I'm just going to keep it like this for now just so it sort of matches the background and everything and the final step as with anything like this is to add a color correction so again I'm going to go into the image adjustment layers and go to curves and in simple terms this is the highlights of the picture and this bottom half is the you know the darker areas so by pushing this up here it makes the bright areas brighter and then by pushing this bit down it makes the dark areas darker so by playing around with this you can get a cool sort of contrast going so as you can see before and after it looks a bit flatter before so yeah you can play around with that and then i'm also going to add a color balance and push up the blue midtones a little bit so i'm just going to play around till the colors look good to be honest and sort of played around with the highlights and now as you can see before and after the color balance it just sort of levels it out a little bit and there you go there is a fortnite thumbnail for you i understand it isn't the best thumbnail but it's just a tutorial so you know chill out but yeah i did go fast because this isn't meant to be copied completely it's just i'm showing you the process and then you can apply it to whatever you're making yourself this does require a bit of knowledge about photoshop so if you don't know how to use photoshop this may be a bit hard to follow so sorry about that but yeah i'm going to leave this project file in the description for free uh, just so you can download it and you know change the text to whatever you want or yeah whatever you want to do really but either way i hope this did help if you're a fortnite youtuber looking for a thumbnail or just a designer looking to learn how to make one but yeah that's all peace